What's up guys, welcome back to our Road to Dark Aether series. On our last episode, our top comment was from McClanky, saying he wants us to do the Magnum next, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, also, the crossbow was removed from the game, but I did set it as my showcase weapon before that. I guess it's going to be staying there until it comes back in. Unfortunately, I didn't make a class with it in Zombies, though, before it was taken out. I do still have one in multiplayer. Let me see if it's still there. Oh, no way. I still have the crossbow here. Let's go. All right, so I can still use a multiplayer, I guess, or at least in a class, but uh, I wish I would have put it in a zombies class before it got taken out. I, I had no idea they're going to take it out. I could have been on my on some Daryl Dixon type beat. But anyways, here's our camel progress on the Magnum. Uh, like always, we have everything done except for our criticals. We're like 550 away, so not too bad. Should get it done in like 20... 25 rounds maybe i was gonna go through the attachments really quick agency suppressor reinforced heavy ember sighting point 12 round fast mag and airborne elastic and today we're gonna be switching up a little bit we're gonna be using the ring of fire i usually use aether shroud because i'm i get myself cornered a lot in zombies but yeah ring of fire should help us get criticals faster when we don't have to reload we can just sit in colonel's office and take them all down let's see if we can upgrade it so let's go field upgrades ring of fire Oh, we don't have enough. But we're getting close to getting like, you know, everything that we need upgraded. And I do have my pistols at level five. Hopefully that helps us get criticals done a lot faster. Uh, if we do pistols in the future, it should be a lot easier. But I don't know if you guys noticed or not. I mean, you probably have to play zombies, but for the specials, it's always been the crossbow, like on the, on the little blueprint. So it's always, it's always been intended to have the crossbow in the game. Apparently they removed it because the attachments weren't ready. Like the whole gun wasn't ready. So hopefully when it comes out, it has, you know, all the attachments that it needs and the challenges changed, so you don't have to take it out in score streaks and all that. But uh, we got Tombstone to level five. People were saying not to get Tombstone for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's nice because with level five on it, it prevents perk decay. So if I'm using, you know, Ring of Fire, I'm probably gonna go down because I don't have Aether Shroud to bail me out. But at least with Tombstone, I get to keep all of my perks. So I'm down for that. And I'm gonna go upgrade Cryo Freeze to four. That way we can get our crits a little easier. We can slow them down a bit and it won't take away from our crits. So let's get into it. Coming in with our twin brother philip who uh unfortunately goes missing right after this right, let's try to speed run these crits okay, that one doesn't come yet with that guy get him that guy over there will be here shortly i've started i've memorized the whole first round it's not that hard but like it's a it's a huge oh shit but you know that's a huge step for me i have I hardly even played zombies before this game. So like me starting to memorize everything. I would hope I'd start to memorize everything with the amount I've played Firebase C. But you know, we're, we're making progress. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable playing zombies now. I feel like I know what I'm doing for the most part. And speaking of playing zombies like a lot, you know, I've just been grinding on this, like on stream, you know, for videos and just like off camera. And while I'm playing off camera, just grinding camos, I've literally gotten through all of Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. I, I, I gotten through both series. Two of my favorite shows of all, like all time. Like it, it, it's up there. Just the amount of zombies I've played is ridiculous at this point. What if you're looking for a show to watch, I, I recommend Breaking Bad. Do I have enough to get through this yet? I do. I'll go middle door first, get uh speed cola. I think it's speed up here. We'll just get all of our perks and then sit Colonel's office until we, uh, so we get gold on this thing. Now I can't I, I can't tell you how much of a like a breath of fresh air it is to use something that is not like bolt action or you know any kind of sniper. I mean it doesn't have as much ammo. I'm sure like an assault rifle or like an SMG be way more fun. Just because like the the whole damage output to fire rate to just mag size all around has gotta be awesome to do. But you know, pistol's pretty fun so far. This this magnum's fun. And you can't tell me a magnum's not one of the coolest looking pistols. Like I think it goes like Deagle and then Magnum. But you, Deagle's almost overused. I, I I wish it was in this game. I think they might be adding it as a score streak eventually. But you know, a, a revolver is always a classy gun. It's very clean. Like someone pulls out a revolver, you're like, damn. I gotta go protect the other reactor. Oh, okay. Let me just miss my last two bullets. All right, that's one reactor up. Give me my loose change. Hello? There it is. Give me that. I have enough parts, I think, to upgrade this to a green. So let's go do that. So a lot of you guys that play zombies probably know this already, but I've come to the conclusion that buying the first armor is a waste of parts. I mean, it's not that expensive, but a lot of the time you'll eventually just get like an armor drop and you'll get that that first little armor slot, you know, bef before you need to purchase it. So I've, I, I've been holding off on buying armor. I'll, I'll only get it if it's like round 10 and it hasn't dropped yet. 
But usually it'll drop by then. Okay, we got enough to open the next door. Let's go do that. Get this bad boy open. Oh, we need a little bit more cash to get this reactor going. There we go. Oh, double points. Let's go over here. Let's get our loose change before those double points is up. So we can take advantage of the 200 points. There we go. Get off my reactor, please. There's some more over here. Get off. If I can... There we go. Jeez. I'm just so inaccurate sometimes. It's ridiculous. And while we're waiting to the round to start, let me just grind the rail. Oh, we missed it that time. Let's get it here. Ah. Uh. Oh, what's up, Mimic? Goodbye. I think that's enough. There we go. Buy our perky worky. They leave any parts for me? I don't think so. All right. Back to helicopter until we can buy the next door. All right, next door. I think that's enough to open the door and start the reactor. It should be. Get our loose change. Nice try, bucko. No! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I guess to charge it up faster. But, you know, it screwed us out of a few crits. I got such a bad habit of accidentally hitting those. Mimic? What? Excuse... Why did he do that? He just showed me his ass. Don't you ever do that again. I'll just chill here till I have enough to pack a punch. When he smokes that zombie fucker. Alright, we're only... 400 crits away. Okay, I literally cannot aim. You know, like a, like a lot of people, I was surprised that they took uh, the crossbow out. Like, I, you know, I was happy to have it in the game. It was fun to use, but it definitely needs attachments. I thought that was just like, obviously looking back at it, seeing that what the challenges were, like take down like these score streaks, do this, do that. And how like long, you needed more long shots than you needed just normal kills. Like obviously looking back at it, it was not complete. And then there also only being one attachment slot for the optic. But I, I, I hope they get it fixed and they put it back in the game soon because a lot of people are excited for that. Holy shit, spawn in my face, why don't you? Dude, let go of me. So, hope oh, I did not mean to throw that. But hopefully when they put it back, the challenges aren't like insanely difficult. Because it seems like a fun gun to use and it seems like a nice grind to get gold. And then in zombies, I want to see that thing pack-a-punched what it can do. I'm sure somebody has has done it and pack-a-punched it. I'm not sure if it's even done anything while pack-a-punched since it wasn't complete. It seems like a fun gun to use in zombies. But since I did buy the bundle uh, for the crossbow, I did get uh, refunded my COD points, but I still have it in my loadout. So I don't know if I'll have to repurchase it once it comes back out. I probably will. But uh, it'd be really cool if I ended up just getting it for free because of that. Probably won't happen though. Let's get dead shot. Let's actually do the Easter egg today. Look at me, you little bunny. Look at me. That's what we like to see. I'm sure this scared the shit out of the first person to ever do this. But one thing I want to say, it's bullshit that when you're stuck in that animation, you can take damage from the zombies. Last time I did this, people were saying, why don't you kill the mimics and everything while you're in here? That's just extra elite kills. Elite kills aren't really like difficult on, uh, on Firebase C. Go ahead, die. But I will take their ammo for when they die. All right, give me Ray K. Give me. What? Are you fucking kidding me? What happened? What? What? What the hell was that? Okay, well, I just got screwed out of my Juggernog and a possible Ray K and parts. That's fucked up. Okay, well, I don't even have enough to buy Jug. I'm pissed. I just got scammed. Well, at least I know if I really don't need Jug or any of that stuff, I can do that and then have like a free 
what was that like 20 seconds to run around the map so i don't know what the hell that's useful for but we just got scammed out of our jug right when i start to think i know something about zombies like something like that happens and i'm just left dumbfounded and also what i was talking about earlier with the armor dropping it has not happened uh, I, I was thinking i'm all i'm all smart i'm like yeah i, I don't have to I don't have to use my parts for armor. They'll just give me some eventually. But, uh, yeah, I talked that one out of, uh, existence. Let me go buy some. And upgrade my pistol. All right, back to Colonel's office. That's actually got me, like, so confused and just kind of mad, actually. Give me my jug. Like, what the hell? There we go. Easy crits. All right. Well, I guess these parts make up for it. Now I'm irritated. But uh, we're officially, I think, at the time I'm recording this, uh, the Battle Pass only has like 30 days left. This season's like already like halfway through. I think it started at 60, if I'm not mistaken. There's our armor. I would have just waited. But I did say I'd buy it at round 10. This game's just messing with me at this point. But we're halfway through this season. But I, I got the battle pass all the way up to uh, tier 100 the other day. I did start off with like the, the bonus bundle where you get like the, the LC10 to start it. So, you know, I didn't get every tier legit. But it was it was a pretty fast grind, honestly. I feel like, you know, playing a lot of zombies have, has helped a lot. I want to try to get some gameplay with that uh, reactive Pharah because it looks pretty sick. I want to see what it looks like with Dark Matter, actually. But with the season, like, halfway through, I think we're getting close to the, the end for Verdansk. Because, you know, zombies have been moving around. They've been at, like, three points of interest now. They're at a hospital currently. I haven't played Warzone in a minute, so I haven't seen what that's like. I'm sure it's just, like, you kill zombies, get extra money, get extra ammo. You know, there's nothing too crazy for it, especially now that the, the outbreak challenges are gone. But... I'm hoping towards the end of it, it just gets crazy. Like, I, I know the game probably won't be able to handle, like, a massive amount of zombies everywhere on top of, like, all the players and, you know, loading all the loot ass assets and everything. But, man, that, that would be really, really cool just to have, like, a mob of zombies or have it eventually turn into, like, what that Halloween mode was. Because the, the Halloween, like, zombies Warzone mode was probably one of my favorites. Like, it's just nonstop, like, action. Like, that was, like, the rebirth before rebirth. Oh, here comes our assault wave. All right, let's see if we can upgrade our weapon again. Nope, we're halfway there. We can get our armor. Mimic, what are you doing here? Did you got better shit to do? There we go. Dude, an automatic weapon with cryo freeze has got to be crazy. Zombies just got to be non-existent they're just frozen constantly especially with, with tier 5 cryo freeze oh that's actually kind of a goaded ammo mod all right we're gonna leave one at the end of this round go pack a punch this bad boy get it to pack a punch two and then we're chilling for a bit why do they drop a max ammo right after i pick one up maybe like an insta kill or double points instead i'll just leave it there there's double points see now they listen uh oh i can feel a sneeze coming on i feel like if you sneeze in zombies like while you're playing and you don't pause that could be a recipe for disaster. The whole game could be ruined by one sneeze. Is this our last guy? It might be. Okay. Let's go pack a punch. Get pack a punch two. Let me get quick revive and tombstone. I'm kind of upset that elemental pop takes away from like your crits and will take your kills and stuff. Because that's such a cool perk. Just getting random ammo mods and all that. Like I really like brain rot as a perk. I think it's or as an ammo mod, I think it's really cool. Just being able to have like a zombie turn around and start like beating ass for you. And then I think once you get uh brain rot tier five, your brain rotted zombie dies. It infects three others. So like you could have a whole army of zombies. So I think once like we, we get everything we need upgraded, I'm going to upgrade grip brain rot just because it's fun. I'm sure. Or I think we're getting Robocop coming in here soon. Robocop always comes through that window over there. Like after a certain point in zombies, when you have like both your guns fully, like fully leveled, fully pack a punch, top tier, fully ammo modded out and everything. What do you do with your points after that? Can you spend them on anything that's like, you know, worth it? I feel like at that point, all you can do is trials or just like hit the box for fun. Yeah, you're gonna throw two mimics at me. I'm ring of firing. A max ammo wall and ring of fire is goaded. Even though like zombies is really repetitive, just doing the same thing, like just sitting in Colonel's office, getting crits. 
it's almost kind of relaxing. Like, I, I enjoy the grind of just sitting here doing that. You know, my, everyone might not feel the same, but just getting this, sitting here getting this shit done, like, while I'm streaming, while I'm just watching a show, or even just recording it, it's, it's kind of nice. It's satisfying. Also, I've been seeing uh, some comments of people saying that I should use a controller to play zombies. I might be down for that. Uh, so if you guys want to see me do that, let me. if I see enough in the comments, maybe we'll do it next episode. But I'm for sure not doing it. I'm for sure not going to do it for the M82. Like, that's not going to happen. If I'm going to suffer, it's not going to be with that. Like, I, I will do any other gun. Oh, shit. Fuck my ass. What the hell, Tombstone? What happens to no perks going away? Or is that only if I use the fucking the Tombstone Shadow? See, I knew I was going to go down without Aether Shroud. I panicked. And we're so close to getting Pack-a-Punch 3, and all that money's going right back into perks. What a fucking shame. But at least we're almost there on crits, so maybe it won't matter too much. At least we still have Speed Cola and Deadshot. Could use Jug, but don't matter too much. I think our boy Robocop's coming. Where's Robocop? Oh, we're really close on our on our crits. We should have it within the next round and be able to exfil on the very next opening. Okay, I'm leaving this last guy. I need to get my perks back. That's not where you buy perks, Joe. Fucking idiot. 8,000 more just to pack a punch. I'm going to be able to do it next round. Oh, an assault wave. We're not going to have time to come back. Oh, let's upgrade this to pink really quick while we have the time. There we go. Uh, we'll repair our armor. Let's get in there. There we go. We're almost there on crits. We can get it like this round. Just gotta not use this cruise missile and then we're chilling. It should be coming up soon here. But uh, my track record with math is not the greatest. Oh yeah, we're we're really close. If if I'm right, we're close. There it is. Let's go. All right, we'll just be able to exfil right after this. This is perfect. Perfect timing on this. Let's do that. Do I have enough? I do. Okay. Oh no. What? Did I just waste my chopper gunner? Oh no. This is what happens when I don't have Aether Shroud and I just get cornered and I panic. <laughs> that is not good. I need to get out of here. That sucks, dude. I lost my chopper gunner. So uh, if you guys are going down, don't use your chopper gunner. I thought I could use it to escape, but I just messed that up. Oh, I still have it actually. Never mind. Either way, we're out. This is what happens when I don't have Aether Shroud. I just go down. I am i don't think I'm going to find a gun that I like Golden Viper on. Plague Diamond's growing on me a little bit, but uh, it's going to be the same thing every video. I'm always going to say Dark Aether's the best because damn, that looks good. Let's take, a, let's, let's take a second and appreciate these other zombies camos. Like, you know, these few, mm, these two are decent. These two are, all, these are kind of eh. I mean, it can work. I can see why people would like these ones. Right here, Vintage. Look at that. That's clean. All these are clean. Funkadelic's probably one of the best camos in this game. These are also nice. And then we have the we have the golden white and the blue and black. Nothing but heaters here. Especially these. Look at this. Look at the depth on that. Like zombies camos almost up and down are all good. And then you get multiplayer. Nobody uses any of these. Gross. The like these two are all right. I mean, people probably use stripes a lot. The thrash. These also look gross. These probably only look good on certain guns. Flora kills it. This is nice. This is fucking beautiful. That's great. And then these are okay. Science is decent. Uh, it looks good on some guns. Psychedelic. Almost all these look good. Like Bliss. Bliss and Groovy are disgusting. They're so nice. Diamond looks good on everything. Diamond's one of the best looking camos in this game. DM Ultra's good too. But yeah, uh, I mean, that's that's the Magnum. So if you like this video and you want to see more, uh, leave a like. Uh, if you didn't and you don't, dislike. If you're new here, uh, drop a sub. We're on the road to 100k now. And that's it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.